Picks and shovels. I don't yeah. give a shit. Yeah, they did a, they just protest and, and they said they they died and went 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 and but this job's got to get done whether it takes all God's time. Like you can tell you, you can have stuff seriously wrong with you. No, no, it's not hurting you. Fall out or something happens, and that's the only way they find out. <laughs> we'll make it quick. We get out. And that was a little boy. Do. Rippers. He was morning. in the first grade. So he was in the first grade. He was in the first grade. He was in the first grade. He the first grade. He was in 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 Yep. They said it was all in his bones. They started him on chemo. They put him in the hospital. I said, oh, fuck. Maybe he yeah. knows. <laughs> mm -hmm. How long has it been? And then even been with us. Right. I don't. You know, like, there's been times I've gone to the doctor and say, well, this, this ain't right. You know, I didn't have this before. This stuff well, and they look at you like, well, I'm the one with the degree. You girl. can't tell me. You but want our it's like you say, it's your buddy. You know when something ain't right. I told you we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again. You know, like with me, when I went, you know, went to the health department two or three times. Because it's doctor, a waste of time. Because I hurt uh, everything. You know, uh, uh, well, it I might just be arthritis. It ain't nothing really. You can do it like this. Put the heat pad in. Said he was gonna but I said, some of the back of my head said, let somebody, and then I had the knock start coming back. And remember what I told you? This can't and, uh, be I had the doctor it's look at me. It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not boozers. It goes real. Yeah, breathe. I don't like the way that looks. She said, do it hurt? And I said, no. They just well. Then I had to roll them on the lip, too. They come and go. They don't be there all the time. But at that time, they was thinking that I'm going to play my lip. And I showed her where it was at. She felt it. She said, yeah, I know. She said, I'm going to do a box. She said, I need to be stuck in me. And it's all gone. What do you think? Put that bike in your spit and sweat. Now, what the hell is going on here? And they, they know my own first thing. Storage is missing food and some ammo. And that's how they found out I had some food. Who was on watch? My doctor was saying to you, I went to just find out. Tonight, double the watch. And if I didn't go, something didn't tell me to go get somebody else. I could have been dead too, crazy, about me. It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Yeah, that's Bunch crazy. of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. They, you know why they that is? They try to act like you don't know what the fuck you talking about. Cause that's it's your body, you ought to the know. Freak show. Only folks survived when they was mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here. Hoping I feed them, protect yeah. them, keep them nice and cozy and warm. So they can sit on their asses and watch the world. Uh, and then yeah. my, uh, what you call it? Get your ass back My, uh, what they call that? Your thymus, the thing that's on top of your ribs, that big lymph gland. Yeah, it swelled up, and I had, I, had to, I didn't know that was happening because I, I don't went, make me go get sick. I, was, I, I couldn't eat nothing but like smooth stuff. I went through around a whole like month and a half. I was like, they, everything I ate it was like coarse food, you know, like meat, something feel like it got stuck halfway down my esophagus. I can't. Wouldn't go past her. And I said, something's going on in the throat. That's what my chest. So they did a cat scan. They said, yeah, my your thymus is. So I went through a whole, it went back down, I Let guess, but time. I didn't that, but it, for a whole month. I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in case. case. If I ate something coarse, it felt like he was stuck right there. Larson was on a run yesterday. Pastor yeah, Marion like, Forks said he saw someone, a young woman, like, crazy. but he only caught a glance. He, he stopped to look around, but I never found him. Is he sure? Larson's been doing as long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack, Pass. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. But look, talk, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. No. I gotta go find Wheeler. Someone's looking at a night in the shack. Then also, they don't tell a lot of people, they say, like my doctor said, that, uh, the diabetes make you more prone to infections, too. You know, you have to be careful, you know, even like a respiratory infection or all that, because you can't, it like weakens your immune system. <laughs> and that's why I would tell my husband, I said, me and George was sitting way in the back, we'd be looking at us like, I'm crazy, but I ain't been to, uh-uh, hell no. <laughs>
even on the bus, I, I sit like way away from anybody else because all that confidence, uh-uh, yeah. And then them young guys, they get on the bus smelling like weed. That stuff be choking me. I can't, ooh, I can't stand the smell of that either. It's like, oh my God, they be loud, real loud. Like, damn. One of the bus drivers, he had said something about the other day. I was on the bus. He said, ooh, I wish the people would stop smoking that, that stuff stank. I said, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what do you want to do? Got a real loud smell to it. It's bad. What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men uh, escaped to Ripper Camp. Mm. Over by Iron Butte. Oh, that torture that the dogs do. But this time they kept asking me if he knew about it. Two bikes, two uh, men. They got the bus now where the bus driver is closed up in a plexiglass thing on all the buses now. Because a couple of them got attacked. <laughs> so they, they got a like a little door in there. They can lock this up in there so you can't get to them or something. <laughs> Whatever. It's like, Judge. You got to be scared on your job. Like, you know, like, just, 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 I want you to just show me what you got. I, I would laugh at that thing because the one, the one guy I knew him, he been driving a long time. I said, well, then you got a little door on the thing there. He said, yep, yeah, they got us when we enclosed now where they keep, people can't try to urge. I said, child. But it took a couple of them to get hurt. And one of them got killed. Remember the man stabbed the bus driver and killed him? That's why they decided to put them things in there. Child. Yep. It's just crazy. They get rid of all these mentally ill people, you wouldn't have to deal with that. Most of the people that do stuff like okay, that are sure, mentally sure. ill. Mm -hmm. some they get on the bus and they be cutting the food and then you say something to them and then they want to, want to attack you and shit. <laughs> it's like, oh, Lord. And there's so many. You go out to my city, they were all over the place like that. Oof, Jesus. One of them, like, got hit the other day. I was up there. He walking, walking right out in the middle of the road where the bus is going around in that circle in the center thing. He right in the middle of the bus, the bus coming around. The bus driver blowing at him. He just standing there in the middle. Of the I saw all this crazy. <laughs> they didn't do something with all these. Put them on an the island or put them somewhere. And get them the hell away from here. Yeah. There's too many of them. Hey, <laughs> There's so many people with schizophrenia, it's just re outrageous. It's just, it's, uh. And the doctors be saying that too, they said there ain't nowhere to put them. Yeah, they can't, you know, keep them in the jail either because then they take that food and they leave the other people. It's like, This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Black helicopters have been spotted in the skies. All right. You might have seen them. All right. Heard them. Thought you were losing your mind, but you're not. Yeah, this is crazy. They're real. You ain't saved nowhere. Right. <laughs> you thought Nero died out here like the rest of them. Caving under their own stupidity. But no. Like I said, they've been lying and wait all this time. Till they can crawl up out of their holes and reclaim this world. But it ain't happening. Not on my watch. And don't go running towards them thinking they're gonna save your ass. Nah, I don't think so, Cope. Not today.
free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. This earth is a gift for us all. To use as we see fit. Yeah, coach, not today. Not in the mood for your truth or bullshit. 